Hello there mates, Mishi Gamer here, and thank you for checking into this next episode of Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended Edition. So let's jump right into it, shall we? I just remember like randomly that I used to like struggle with saying that word. There we go. Well, who are you? Quartermaster, okay. Can we talk to Quartermaster? The task force, oops, I forgot. Oop. The task force quartermaster looks disarmingly nondescript in his standard issue uniform. His posture is frigid, his spine ramroid straight. He watches you with eyes the color of wet clay and the corner of his mouth curls into a smile. So, you're the new talent, the shadow runner. He rubs his nose with a sleeve. Uh, the brass told me that you've got clearance to buy here, so your money's welcome. If you need supplies, I cannot you outfit you for a reasonable price. He gestures at the ar array of gear behind him. There are racks and racks of weapons, all neatly maintained. Off to the side, a pile of reinforced Duraplast crates catches your eye. They all bear the HKPF insignia, but you can also see stickers on their casings. Mishuhama, H and K, Ares Arms, they look to be military surplus. Can't sell you everything, of course. There's some gear back there that's technically off limits for sewing with your clearance level. Have a look, though. See if anything catches your eye, and if you're clear for it, we'll talk price. I've seen the crates over there. That's the stuff that I can't sell you. Not technically. We're talking about the big guns, the heavy ordnance, that kind of thing. He leans forward and lowers his voice. Of course, it's possible that an item or two could go missing, or that the numbers in my inventory sheet could be wrong, and the odds of that happening might increase if you did me a favor. Oh, what kind of favor are we talking about? The the kind that I can't trust my brothers in uniform to help me with. The kind that you go to a shadow runner for. You help me out, and it's possible that some merchandise could find its way from those crates to your boat. You never can tell. Describe in detail what you need me to do. A friend of mine is in trouble. Bad trouble. I'd be first in line helping myself, but my hands are tied. I know exactly what happened to him and why, but I can't intervene to help save his life. You help my friend, and maybe I'll forget to carry the one when I'm writing out my next inventory control sheet. I've already done the lead work. You finish the job for me, see to it that my friend gets the help that he needs, and that would be a nice payday unit for you. And maybe a clerical error or two related to the gear in those crates. You'll still have to pay for the gear, but I'll do the work to make sure that nobody notices it's disappeared. His finger dances over the touchscreen of his PDA. The screen flashes twice in response. Just for you the pertinent details you're finding on your mission computers. Please, don't drag your feet on this. My friend really is in trouble and he won't hold out much longer. Don't worry, you can count on me. Thanks. Now you want to look at any of the gear that I've got on the rack? It's up to you, pal. Just say the word. Um, I need supplies, so let me see what you got on the rack. What are you interested in? Okay. What do you have in terms of armor? So let's see. I mean, I know I'm broke, but come on. So, I have armor 8, so is that just the best armor? Apparently. Okay, well. Thanks. Hmm. That looks pretty cool, though. Alright, all right. uh, anything else? Yeah. So let's see the guns and grenades. So I know I already know I don't have the best weapon. Let's see, smart link. Alright, so there's this weapon. And a shot shotgun has a burst. I mean, I can't buy any of this. Why am I looking at it? Okay. No thanks. I'll come back when I have some money. How'd you get involved with this task force? He sure has got assigned to it the same way that most of the constables here were. Believe it or not, this wasn't a volunteer assignment for most of us. When the executive council hands you an edict, you follow it. Uh, tell me about yourself, sergeant. He chuckles. Don't really think there's all that much to say. Been on the force for 22 years now, and I've been loaning out gear for most of it. Got a wife back home, a couple of kids. That's about out. That's about it, really. He sits it shows into an awkward silence. Look, I've never really been one for small talk. You want us to talk about armor or arm armaments? That kind of secure tech fabric is best for stopping a ceramic knife? I'm your man. If you're looking for anything else though, you're barking up the wrong tree. Not trying to be unfriendly, mind you. I'm just not a people person per se. I was only asking to be polite. I wasn't really interested anyway. Huh? Okay, I'll just say, suit yourself. So, you have some other business or I'll see you later. 
Yeah, really, I, I, I mean, I kind of was just asking to be polite, but it's gonna be that way about it. I don't think there's anyone else here. I think that was everybody that I could talk to on the boat. Well, this isn't a boat. The, the impound lot. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my mission computer and uh, see what's up there. Like, see what quest that he's talking about. Looking inbox for new messages. Oh, lot. Under Sea Lab jobs. From Sergeant Lee to MS Under Sea Job. Hey, good to see you're interested in my proposal. My friend, the one with the problem, is named Ming Kai Xiao. He's been affected with a disease, and he thinks it's how it was done deliberately. Here, I've attached the video messages he sent me. His condition is worsening by the day, so I really appreciate it if you could help him out. He's fairly high up in Monobo. Monobo International. He's got a lot of money and he needs some heavy hitting freelancers to help him out. So I figure it would be right up your alley. An elder man with a sicky, sickly pallor sits down in front of the camera and coughs several times. A series of intranivous lines have been attached to his arms and a pair of respirator tubes snaking to his nose. When he speaks, his voice is curpless and has a breathless quality to it. Lee, I know this is a lot to ask, but I don't have anywhere else to turn. I'm dying, Lee. The bastards at Shawazi did this to me. I don't know how, but they got someone close enough to me and infected me with some kind of experimental bioagent. One of these best researchers are working around the clock, but ordinary, ordinary treatments aren't cutting it. They figure they'll be able to synthesize a cure in six or seven months, but I've only got about one. The doctors tell me that they need to create a line of monoclonal antibodies to fight this thing. Lucky for me, I know where one is. The Shawazi bastard that did this has been in contact with me. They said that they give me doses of the treatment, doesn't enough to keep me alive, but not enough to kill all of the virus. All I have to do is sell out Monobi, give them insider information on our projects. Ming pounds a fist into the armrest of his chair, doubling over with racking costs. So hell with that. They want to play with fire? So be it. I need you to use your contacts. Find me some goddamn mercenaries. Not just any mercenaries. I'll pay top dollar, and I want the best. You hear me? Monobi's information warfare teams have tracked the probable location of the germ warfare lab that this goddamn disease came from. It's some undersea place out in Niao Mei Hoi, codenamed Namazu. It's totally unlisted, and that means only one thing, illegal research. My mercenaries need to get into that lab, find the germ warfare section, and get me the monoclonal antibodies that I need to live. Don't worry about getting down there. I'll loan you a mini sub. Our security techs assure me that they can blank the facility sensor grid for just long enough to get a team inside. I don't care how our contractors go about acquiring the cure, so long as they get it to me quickly. If they want to be quiet, little mice? Great. If they feel like blowing the whole facility apart? I'm fine with that too. Just get me that goddamn cure. Let me know when you found somebody. So there you go. His family and mine have been friends for a long time, but there is no way that I can help him directly on this one. This is Shawazi we're talking about here. They hold a seat on the executive council. They pay my salary, albeit indirectly. Let me know when you de when you decide what to do, Lee. Take the run. If you're reading this, you've elected to take the job. This automated reply has let me know, and the mini sub should be prepped and ready when you arrive. We'll talk to Jomo, and he'll take you to the submersible. All right, gearing up. From Senior Inspector Lamb to MS Gearing Up, if you find yourself in need of gear or supplies before you run on the Tiger Sin, speak with Sergeant Lee. He's the Task Force Quartermaster, and he has been instructed to equip you to equip and supply you as if you're one of us. You'll still need to pay for your gear, but he has an extensive stock of security-rated firearms that might interest you. If you need medical supplies or cybernetic enhancements, you'll find automatic kiosk in the guard that can serve your needs. For anything else, I recommend talking to Captain Jomo. He can supply you with whatever we can. I only ask that you keep a business between yourselves and that you leave me out of it. Even if you feel prepared, I recommend that you look at what the yard has on offer before you head to the tiger's den. It's better to be over prepared than it is to get caught flat footed. Best of luck, Lamb. And my last message. It's from Senior Inspector Lamb to MS. Attached to this mail, you'll find a brief recap of our conversation regarding tiger den. Please save this for your records and review as necessary. Tiger's Den infiltrations, MS and team runners to be conveyed to the Tiger's Den by Jomo. Upon entering facility, runners are to secure access to the second floor in its evidence room. 
Once said access has been attained, runners will proceed to evidence room and gather evidence of criminal activity on crate. When evidence has been gathered, runners will evacuate to their insertion point for extraction by Dromo. Use of lethal force authorized but strongly discouraged before evidence has been gathered. Principals Q and Lamb will observe operation from off-site. Their role is limited to observation only. Gee, thanks. Okay, I think that was everything I already looked at. Everything else. Let's see, I think I actually have two at the jobs. Correct, correct. And I read everything in the Shadowland BB is. Yes, yes, yes. So we are all clear for a go for our very next show. Sorry, that was that was really bad. Uh, okay. So now we are good to talk to Jomo. Oh, have I talked to you before? No, I don't think so. Talk to me. Something I can do for you, Runner? You have a name? Luing, Sergeant Maria Luing. Got a nice ring to it. Sure, thanks. And yours, Runner? And this. Huh, that's certainly original. Is that all you wanted to ask me? If so, I have duties to attend to. I have to go. She nods. Back to it. Okay. And there's Jomo. What's up, my guy? Captain Jomo stands beside his sweet boat, surveying the docks as if surveying his kingdom. His stance is relaxed, but an air of impatience lingers about him. His narrow eyes and crossed arms suggest that he's been waiting a while. As you approach, his eyes light up and he throws his hands into the air. Jomo claps you on the back, grinning widely. Ho, oh, my friend! Finally, they let you out of that ugly shed. I thought they'd be many more hours at least. They have no sense of urgency. I'm shocked. I never thought a professional smuggler like you would get picked up by the police. It wasn't so bad. A little nap, a little chat, some mind probing, just another day at the office. You know how cops are. No respect for anybody's schedule but their own. Uh, I'll go with the, the second. Jomo guffaws loudly, slapping a hand against his thigh. This is why we are friends, MS. No matter what the situation, you keep your sense of humor. It would be good to work together again, even if it's the police who are paying me this time. Well, if there's anyone who can smuggle me onto a police station, thought you can. I'm glad you're here. Anyone I can trust is a welcome sight. Hopefully we can both make some money while we're here. Uh... Uh... I mean, I don't know. Can I really trust Jomo? Can I really? He did help me that one time. Uh, sure, I'll say, why not? I agree, you are family, but close enough. The police, I trust only to use us until we're no longer convenient. I don't know about you, but Jomo plans to make his exit before that happens. So, my friend, how can Jomo assist you? Do you need a ride someplace? If so, say the word and we will be off like a typhoon. He lowers his voice to a conspirational whisper. Or perhaps you're interested in contraband, goods of the sort that your uniformed allies will not provide. I have all manner of unusual things for sale, if you have the Nuyen. The kind of unusual things. Drugs, illicit software, even one of a kind sim chips, you name it, and Jomo can deliver the or it winks at you in an annoying fashion. Sounds like a bunch of useful stuff. One of the kind of chips color me intrigued. Uh, maybe later, Jomo. Suit yourself if you change your mind. Let me know. The senior just said that you were looking for me earlier. What's on your mind? Ah, of course, of course. I have a friend with a bit of a problem. His problem involves a family member, mega corporations, and stubborn guards with guns. He asked if I could handle it, but I'm a smuggler, not a shadow runner. You, however, will fit the bill nicely. I don't want to repeat the details here. The police don't need to know. Jomo slips a PDA out of his pocket and taps at it. Here, I've sent you the details. It should be on your computer already. Look it over. Let me know if you're interested in the job. I see, that's a hell of a speedboat you've got there. He beams at you, his tusk glinting. A thing of beauty, isn't she? With Jomo at the wheel, the, sunken, the drunken mistake can outrun anything on the South China Sea. Drunken mistake, huh? I should get her name. Looks like something out of an old Tridio action series. What'd you do? Rate the set of Causeway Bay Narcotics Patrol? Uh, yeah, how did it get its name? Ah, well, her former owner was a Fushi executive, a bloated canker of a dran, drunk on power and British gin. Captain Jomo barks with laughter. He took this fine vessel on a one-man pleasure cruise, blundered into Loho Joa waters, and stalled her out. I came upon him drifting helplessly, crying for help against the roar of an uncaring sea. And 
then you put him out of his misery, did you? Jomo steps back in mock indignation. No, never. Jomo's not so hardly as to kill so pitiful a specimen. Nay, if he can be said to have a fault, it is his bountiful compassion and generosity. I help the poor soul into my sturdy, seaworthy dinghy, then I cross over to the beautiful machine you see, that you see, restarted her engines, and the rest is history. I renamed my prize to drunken mistake to commemorate that fateful day, and as a salute to her former owner, Jomo places a hand on his heart. May he live a long, besotted life, wherever the tides may have taken him. And if the waves drag him down before he saw landing in, let him drink forever in the afterlife. Okay. Uh, should I go check the mission that he sent really quickly? And be headed on our way? I'll go do that. I'm already doing it. So I might as well complete my action. Okay. Hit me with the... Mission. Prisoner Liberation. From Jomo to MS. Ho, my friend, here I am emailing you about the rescue mission that I was made aware of. It's mega heist of epic proportions, a run on one of the most elite corporate residences and offices in all of the free enterprise zone. Ain't nobody pulled a heist like this in a long time. I'm getting excited already. With a big family like mine, we make a lot of friends. My second cousin on my stepmother's side dropped me a line last week because one of her friends, a man named Martin Lai, has a big problem. She figures maybe Jomo can help because I have a lot of friends. Friends like you. So I say to my cousin, hey, I smuggle things. I'm no shadow runner, but I do know some runners that I could pitch this idea to. She says, fine, tell her Martin will pay them a hell of a lot of million, but they better be really fantastic at this, at this because if Lillian dies, it's my ass. No problem, I tell her. So naturally, I think of you. Martin Lai works for Yametsu. Yametsu. And Fushi Industrial Electronics have been butting heads in here over Hong Kong for a while. Read that wrong. Scrapping over who has more sway through the executive council. I'll make the long story short. Martin makes problems for Fushi, so Fushi kidnaps Martin's niece, Lillian. They're holding Lillian lie in a penthouse at their headquarters here in the FEZ Icon Tower. Big black skyscraper in Central. Can't miss it. It's a simple job. But probably not easy. Martin can't get his Yamet to sue Stoza's inside Icon without starting a corporate war, which is why he needs outside help. Somebody denying all that no one will miss if they die horribly. You, my friend. He can loan us two advantages, though. A small helicopter and a virus he has planted in Icon's perimeter defense systems. My plan is this. We go in via the helipad on the roof and have Martin's virus turn off the anti-air defenses. You and your team work fast, get down to the penthouse and rescue Martin's niece, rush her ass back to the roof, and we'll all fly out. From there, we'll meet up with a team of Yamatsu hired mercenaries who will act as a protection team and get Lillian back to Martin. Easy, no? So what do you say? You want to break into one of the biggest corporate buildings in the city, steal a princess in the tower, and thumb your nose at a AAA megacorp? I sure as hell do. Of course I'll take the run. I'm not here right now, but you should be nearby. Come see me, and I'll get you to Icon Tower. Doi. I literally just, like, talked to you, Jomo. I know exactly where you are. You are here. Okay, but let's do the one for uh, Sergeant Lamb first, because that will sign a time sensitive. Uh, I think it's time to pay Shiwazi a visit, Jomo. Okay, so of course, always gotta take Izzy. Um, I don't know, so I can hire other people, even though I'm not at a... Oh, really? I can hire El Duche? <laughs> no, that is not his name. That's beautiful. Okay. I'll stick with my own team, thank you. And got it. And why don't I take Raptor? I feel like I never take him anywhere. What is this gun looking like? Jeez, that's not what I wanted to do, game. What? Oh, oh, I took off Isabel. 14. How do I check? Oh boy. Okay. You know, I think I have taken him on one mission before. This is still on Raptor. How do I do, uh... Oh, whatever. 
I don't have any money to to not to have them in crappy gear anyway. Rector Gobbit and Isabel. The trip to Lee's lone mini sub is uneventful, as is transit to the area near Hong Kong where Shiwa Z has built their research laboratory. The sub descends swiftly and you are kept company by the hissing of the oxygen scrubbers and the occasional ping of active sonar striking your hull. As you hear the coordinates for the lab, Joma begins switching off all but the most essential of systems. After a few minutes, brighter light filters through the portholes as you ascend into a moon pool, and there is a dull thud as the facility's clamp closes it around the sub to lift it free. Very nice. I think out of all of them, uh, well, of course, Isabel's my favorite, but I also love uh, Gobbit, Ractor, and Gaishu. Duncan is okay. He, he's alright. He's not the worst. Let's see. The so Gobbit has that. That's this. And yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Let's go! Game autosaves. Thank you. Can we continue? In... Okay. The submarine base smells like a hospital, antiseptic and sterile despite the presence of seawater. The sharp scent of rubbing alcohol intermingles with the metallic bite of stainless steel, dominating your sense of smell and drowning out everything else. The floor vibrates faintly under your feet, a soft electrical buzz likely emanating from the electronics packed behind the facility's walls. You can hear the hum all around you, like the droning sound of a thousand tiny rings. We made good time, I was expecting to get here so quickly. I was expecting something a little more grand for an underwater to sea lab. I think I like it here. Hope I don't have to tear the place apart. I'll say it first, why not? You asked Joma? He delivered. Welcome to Shaolai Z's foremost bioengineering labs. Great location, la? I'll lock the door once you leave this room and keep on inviting guests away from our sub. This bay isn't on the same level as the labs, but there should be an elevator that can take deeper into this sea hide. Some trams, too, according to the blueprints. Go, do your job. I will keep the sub prepped and ready for your return, but places like this, they make me uncomfortable. Too clean. Try not to keep Jomo waiting too long. The germ warfare lab is what we need to find. Should be plenty straight shot from here to there. Oh, in MS, places like this aren't known for the forgiving attitudes of the security staff. The guards are probably trained to shoot, them, to shoot on sight, so we should plan on shooting our first. Y'all know what we have to do. Let's get to it. All right. Time to get this job underway. I'm ready. Move out. Uh, I'll save the second. So basically, this is going to be a shoot first. Ask questions never. And of course, if you want to do the shooty, you have to uh, press the little gun icon in the corner there. Okay. All right. I don't see anyone yet. Cool, looks like everything is going smoothly. Elevator. Ooh, the music changed. That's always a good sign, right? I'm just like checking the, the icon in the corner to make sure that it doesn't like turn to an option for me to click. Because once it does, that means that we are ready to fight. Can I go on here? All right, no. Why with me? That takes down my options. All right. Seems empty so far. Ooh. What's this? Lab computer. Okay. Oh. Isabel hisses under her breath, grabbing your arm. Shit! Guards! Look! Over there! There's no way we're getting past them without a fight. At least they don't seem to have seen us yet. Maybe they're asleep at the wheel. I say we try to slip past. Poor fools won't know what hit them. Let's hope that this doesn't sound any alarms. Okay. Of course, I can't hit them if I can't see them. Um, what can you do? 
He's a tricky one. I, didn't, I never really quite figured him out. Uh, with recent battle damage. Uh, Raptor, are we not sure? Not sure. Uh, hmm. Oh, here we go. Alright. And control mode. Awesome. I think I'm gonna have Koshe go in there first. Oh, of course, Koshe won't be able to shoot until it can see. Wait. Oh, I think I. Let's see. Okay. So, what I want to do here? Target with a. Da -da -da. Ah, down there. Which is the strongest? None of them. Okay. What about Sawblade Arm? Oof! Can't be immune to damage. That doesn't make sense. All right. Oh boy. Okay. This is gonna suck. Jesus. That one and go loud. Uh, okay, okay, we're gonna have to go loud. And I have Isabel come here. And 88% sounds good to me. Ooh, good, such good damage. And Raptor can come next to you. Oh well, sure, I guess Rector can, but now he won't be able to do anything. Fine. Okay, I've never really depended on Gobbit, so I'll just have Gobbit, uh... Let's see, maybe? Oh, okay, nice. That was one thing I liked about Duncan. Oh, there are drones over there too. Cute. Alright, so let's see. I'll attack the drone. Hoo hoo! That was beautiful. And one more for you. Ooh, wee! I love when I miss. Heal. Gabi can heal herself. And, um. Do I have? Okay, I was about to say, why is it not equipped? I'll put this here. Oh, beautiful. And Izzy can. do this. Oh. I can't win every time with Isabel, apparently. Alright, and Koshe. Um. Ooh. Come on, come on, there you go. Ah, beautiful. And they're on fire. This is so good. And uh, do this one. Who's left? Oh, Raptor. Oh, right. The drone that's behind me. Doi. I completely forgot about that thing. Alright, and let's see if I oh okay. Why are these things like taking so much damage from me? 
All right, obviously uh, that this wasn't Isabel's job. Awesome. So let's go over here. The terminal has been left unlocked and is currently locked into a junior lab technician's user account. Undersea Research Laboratory Namazu Gamma 4 Anix Annex Neural Neural Engineering Studio. Uh, admin 1, Comment from Random Progress, Admin 2, Deep Cover Operatives. Select the first message thread. Chewing. How are we coming with the next revision of the Reaper Persona Fix chips? Yamada says that the cyberware suite adjustments have been made and I'm anxious to get them into preliminary testing before the month is out. If anything is blocking you, let me know. I'll get you what you need right away. Jamie Guy, senior researcher. Everything is on schedule. We had to take some of, of had to take some of the sleep cycle subroutines out and revise them in simulation. They were adversely affecting non reprain Oof, that's a word. Repro reproduction and our subjects weren't generating the hostility levels that we were looking for. We should have the new chips ready in the next few days. After that, we can run a few subjects in, li in live tests. Do you have a preferred locale in mind? I'll have to check with the transport division, but I'm guessing that Sam Shui Po is our best bet. Any tests that we conduct will get written off as the kind of random violence that epidemics among the sinless population there. We don't want the authorities or, heaven forbid, another megacorp taking an interest in the test we're running. And the second message thread. I have a progress update for our project Silver Dream. Subjects that are already out in the field, that they guys. Subjects 108, 337, 72, and 210 have all been inserted into their new lives and have been making regular check-ins via their assigned nature shops. Details as follows. Subjects 108's new identity is as a motor pool mechanic with Komatsu LTD, specifically their Korean mining operations brands. 108's exposure to sensitive data is limited, but he's providing us with a great deal of inside information about Komatsu's logistics and supply chain, as well as their prospective future mining expansion. Subject 337 is an executive assistant to a middle manager at Crash Cart Medical Services. She's providing us with a wealth of recorded meeting data, and we're learning a lot about weak links in Crash Cart's management chain. Number 72 has been hired as a software engineer by Transies Neuronet Asia. He's initiated a data siphon, albeit a slow one. Reports indicate that our deeper programming has encouraged him to earn the trust of his new co-workers before stepping up the rate of data transfer. Lastly, Nozha 210 is working in the security division of Yakushima Shanghai, Shanghai offices. As a Reaper chip recipient, we have the ability to trigger his kill protocol at any time. Let me know if and when you want to test that out. Given his the nature of his job duties, it should prove to be a very effective test. Whoa, that's pretty jacked up. They're doing some kind of chip-based mind control down here, making sleeper agents, turning people into puppets. All the more reason to get this done quickly and get the hell out. Yeah, they are some pretty messed up people in here. But we are uh, at 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. If you guys like the video, comment, subscribe, like, and share this video to get the word out about Mushi Gamer. Thank you guys so much for watching, and Mushi Gamer signing out.